So Scott with another update on Arcane Engine. This is basically going to be the, um, just pretty much explaining the basics as quick as I can and incorporating as much as I can, um, just, you know, to get the message out there. <laughs> Sorry, it's really late. It's like 4 a.m. I've been working for quite some time. Um, right, so basically, um, going to be at the root of it. It's going to be tower defense. Ignore the uh, placeholder enemies right now. Anyway, so um, previously I showed the whole item system where, you know, uh, enemies drop a bunch of items. They're all color-coded by rarity, so I'm just going to pick all these up for the hell of it. Um, I'm going to equip them. Well, actually, these three already got auto-equipped, but I'm going to equip uh, this one right here because I like the name of it better. Updates all my stats here. Um, so that does that. Um, so now I can kill these guys, and that's all fine and dandy, but, you know, that's still just a normal power defense, not very unique or anything, so... Um, what you can do once you actually start unlocking them, um, I just have them all unlocked right now, but what you can do is switch to, like, uh, ice, and then this is gonna have a slowing effect. And they're gonna blow up into icicles and all that fun stuff, so... Um, that's a basic element. Another basic element is lightning. This has a unique attack where you have to arc it into the sky. And it shoots downward. It's a little harder to use, but... Uh, that's how that works. Um, it actually does a lot of damage compared to the fire and all that, but it is harder to use, so hopefully I'll take some skill. Uh, next we got space, which basically is a crowd control thing. It doesn't do any damage, but it groups everything together. So if I have like a bunch of them that I want to group up, I would launch this space thing right here. And that puts them all on that little group right there. And then, you know, I can switch to lightning or something and go like... Oh, I stuck on my own too. It's meant to just group people up if you have big uh, AOE attacks, they can kill them all pretty easily. Um, but even, I, you know, I thought even that might not be enough uh, to make it unique, so as the game progresses, you have these two other element slots right here. And what you can do with these is combine and create even more elements as opposed to the original uh, five or six that I'm going to have. So. Um, for example, here you can select another element. Um, having two lightnings will just have a stronger lightning attack. You know, yada yada yada. But um, uh, okay, so I'm gonna put fire in this one, and in this one I'm gonna put space, and that's gonna discover a new element. And then this new element's gonna have the combined properties of fire and space, so it's gonna do the vortex effect and have fire. Now, so. Well, they all die pretty quick because I picked up all those items, but if they lived long enough, you would see that they actually get sucked into that uh, that vortex, so um, that's going to be, you know, the combined effect of fire and space. Um, and then, so that's going to be the basic progress of the game. Um, you know, when you kill enemies, uh, harder enemies, they're going to be like, oh my god, loot everywhere! And then you're going to pick up the items, um, and you can equip them however you want. Um, and that, that's uh, going to be a fun system too, so I want to get a lot more items. Um, other than that, anything else to show right now? Not really. I mean, you can see the uh, gold is up here. Um, that's going to be used to purchase new elements and unlock new slots. Um, the shop button is down here. Inventory again is this thing. Um, so yeah, I still got a lot of work, but I uh, hope you like the whole idea so far. And uh, stay tuned for more updates and all that jazz.